Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about some flute tips for beginners to help you learn. That's right, these are tips for playing the flute for beginners to help you learn. They are flute tips for beginners to help you learn. I have seven tips that will truly help you with the learning process if you're a beginner at playing the flute. Let's get right into the video. I'm gonna try and keep it short and sweet, so bear with me as I sort of get through these as sort of efficiently as possible. Number one, practice as often as you can. Every minute, in practice will pay tenfold in playing. That's the way I look at it. If you practice for an hour, it's like you're gonna be better at playing for 10 hours. So one hour of practice will improve 10 hours worth of playing, okay? Very simple, it's totally worth it. Number two, I do apologize. There's like lots of commotion going on over here on the street. So if I'm looking over there, I do apologize, but just bear with me. So number one, practice, practice as often as you can. Uh, every hour of practice is like 10 hours worth of improvement on playing. It's a 10 to 1 ratio. Number two, listen to better flute players than you. You want to listen to flute players that are better than you because you can learn from them. You don't want to listen to flute players that are worse than you just because it makes you feel good as a flute player. You want to listen to flute players that are better than you because you can learn from them, okay? Number three, play scales and long notes. Now, Scales are essentially when you go up and down with notes, you can go up and down linearly or you can skip notes and so forth. But you want to play those scales because they're going to help you with your learning, help you get better as a flute player in so many ways and so many other benefits. And then long notes are essentially when you play one note and you hold it for a long time. So when you play one note on the flute and you hold it at the same pitch, same volume, same sort of overall tone, just the overall same sound for as long as you can. That might be three seconds, that might be 30 seconds. But playing long notes helps you learn the specifics of each note that you're playing. Okay, so that was number three. Tip number four, sit upright. Proper posture is a big deal. If you're slouched over, you're not gonna get the best breathing, you're not gonna get the, the best air movement. So sit upright, it will, it will massively help you. I cannot tell you the amount of improvement that you're gonna get just by having proper posture, okay? That was number four, sit upright, have proper posture. Number five is to breathe through your diaphragm. A lot of people think they have to breathe through their chest area, through the middle of their, their, their frontal area here. You want to breathe through your diaphragm, okay? Essentially, by breathing through your diaphragm, you're going to get the best air movement and you're going to get the most consistent air tone. If I play harder or softer on the flute, I'm going to get sort of a different sound. So let's say I play with just the mouthpiece over here, with just the head joint over here. <laughs> Right, you can hear how, how I'm jumping all over the place. But if I breathe through my diaphragm, I just get a beautiful, consistent sound. So breathing through your diaphragm is uh, honestly one of the best tips that, that I can give you, to be honest with you. It's one of the best things that I can tell you. And breathing through your diaphragm was tip number five. Tip number six is really practice your embouchure. What is your embouchure? Well, it is essentially the way your lips are positioned within themselves and the way your lips are positioned on the instrument. So your lip positioning on the instrument and within themselves is essentially your embouchure. Practice it until you get it right. It will really, really help you um, become a better flute player. So really practice your embouchure is tip number six. And last but not least, tip number seven is to learn the right way to hold the flute and play the flute from the very beginning. Are there flute players that don't hold the instrument properly and don't have the proper, uh, you know, uh, simplicities of, of playing the instrument. Of course there are. It's not the, the, the final, the final thing with regards to playing the flute, but learning how to hold the instrument properly, learning how to play the instrument properly from the very beginning will make your learning process that much easier. Let me give you an example. I'm a drummer by nature. I play probably over 10 instruments now, as you saw previously on the channel in the last few months, I've been releasing lots of instruments tutorials. I play probably well over 10 instruments at this point, decently fluently. Now, with drumming, drumming is the only instrument that I didn't learn the specifics. 
I basically just picked up drumsticks and my dad's a musician as well. He just showed me how to play some basic beats and I just learned myself. I didn't learn how to read drumming sheet music. I didn't learn the basics of making beats. I didn't learn anything. I just learned how to play the drums, right? If I, now with the other instruments that I've learned, I'm actually much better, much faster at them than I was at the drums because I learned all of the specifics, the proper ways of doing it. So yeah, essentially at the end of the day, um, you need to learn how to hold the instrument properly and how to play the instrument properly and you will be much better. The learning process will be much smoother. Let's put it that way. But that's essentially it. Those are flute tips for beginners to help you learn. You want to learn faster. You want to learn more efficiently. You want to learn better. Those are the tips for you. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a, and sorry, before I finish, I do want to say this. These are just tips for beginners, but essentially my throat is very dry. I'm going to take a sip of coffee. Give me a second here. <laughs> Okay, that's better. My water's in my bag over there, but I'm going to have some, some coffee just to smooth out the throat. These are tips for beginners, but essentially they're good for advanced players too, because if you've been playing the flute for 10 years, maybe these tips will help you as well. So share this video with someone who's learning to play the flute or who needs a little bit of improvement with playing the flute and maybe, or just any flute player that might want to hear this and they could use maybe one of these tips at least will benefit them. Okay. So share it with them. I would encourage you to do that. And that's essentially it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.